Hey, 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 guys, so that's Japanese, it's Cat the Cat, and right now we're in front of my very favorite places here in Tokyo, and that's Harajuku Station. So we are here in Harajuku now. You can see this is a brand new building. If you've been to Tokyo before, you will not have seen this one because it literally just got built and unfortunately they're tearing down the traditional old building a lot of people petitioned against it but they decided to turn it down but today we're gonna go walk around harajuku so let's have some fun see what harajuku is looking like right now and check it out let's go great by the way my name is kathy cat in case you haven't already heard it <laughs> the station here is a lot more spacious I think a problem that we had in Harajuku station before is that the platform was so narrow and a lot of people were on the platform so now we finally have two platforms which definitely is a great improvement There we go. I heard about this before, but I haven't seen it yet. I saw it when it was getting built, but this one here is now at IKEA. This is a brand new building. It's an IKEA and a Uniqlo. On top, I think, are like super expensive apartments. This one here. Director, this one here. This one. This, this one. This building here. <laughs> so that's the one I'm talking about. IKEA in Harajuku, right? All right. Oh, Juju t shirts are out right now. That's a popular anime right now. I think it's also on Netflix. Juju Kaisen, I think. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is all new! Cool stuff! I haven't seen any of this before. There's even a Starbucks at the end. Well, it's a very rainy day, guys. You can tell we're right in the middle of the rainy season here in Tokyo right now. For about a month some people call it the monsoon season but once it's over we know it's summer it's the transition between spring and summer much more floof, floofy skirts but today I decided to turn it down a little bit because the floofy skirts poke out of the dress. Mm. This part of the station is still the same. So the second exit of Harajuku station over here has not changed.
here, you. Come on over here, you. I was looking for you. <laughs> right. Here we go to Kesha. Let's go. This is the street of Harajuku you need to know about. This is where everything happens. This is where all the cute little stores are, cafes, and a lot of makeup products right now. On the front, you have like loads of tourist souvenirs. Oh, Noah Cafe has gone a little bit smaller. It's now sharing the space with the Japanese soba place. So we have waffles on one side and soba on the other. There's the McDonald's that's here. Paris kits where I get my accessories. Yep. Big camera and Daiso. If you forget ever anything, you go to Daiso and just get it here while in her <laughs> Oh, there's a dog cafe up there now. That looks <laughs> fancy, rainbow colored. I like it. Oh, and shoes. I usually buy my shoes in this place, or well, a lot of my shoes at least. Oh, there's a kebab place now? Okay. WC is still here. Ooh! They started selling anime goods too. It's now fashion and anime goods. Ooh! All right. This Alta store here on the right is also a really cool place to go to. I have a lot of like little stores all together in one big store. Might go shopping here later on the way back. Oh my gosh, I hope that my, <laughs> my breathing isn't as loud as last time here. Rainbow Toast is here now? That's a colorful Rainbow Toast place. They used to be on a side street, but I think they're the same owners. I couldn't see the guy owner that I usually see, but I think it's the same. Might have to find that out. And there is the Rainbow Cotton Candy Factory. And on the right hand side next to it, on the right hand side, on the right-hand side, director, on the right-hand side. That's Repri Doll. That's a cafe that's been here for so long. It's like it's a real classical charm. I think you're still allowed to smoke in it, though. <laughs> oh, okay. It's sweet frozen popcorn place, and Hanamaru Udon has now been replaced by a different tempura place. And there's the Poop Soft Surf. Yes. <laughs> No graffiti. How cute is that? Oh, This used to be a spot where we did our street interviews in the first place when we started up with Ask Japanese. But now the building is gone. I'm not sure what they're going to build here next. <laughs> then on the left hand side we have Bodyline. And yes, Krebs. for like costumes and wigs and cheap shoes. And then next to it here is Takenoko where it has like proper stage outfits. If you need anything flashy for your stage performance, this is the place. And they're really reasonable as well. And more crepe places, Santa Monica crepes. Crepes are like the typical food here in Harajuku. It's like one of the most known ones. The image of high school girls eating crepes after school here is like a big 
big thing that happened. But there's a lot of other sweets now. <laughs> For example, another t thing that got really popular were all the bubble tea places. And there's still quite a lot left. Well, they're actually making the bubble tea bubbles right now. Never seen that being made. They're getting ready for business later. Woo! That's how you do it. Tapioca! <laughs> this place has been here forever and ever. <laughs> There we go. There's the candy at Gogo. -Go. Actually, in this store, uh, Avril Lavigne was, was making a music video here in this store, in the candy at Gogo -Go store. It's the, I think it was the Hello Kitty You're So Pretty music video that they filmed here. Yes, also this place here, it used to have huge lines. They're really good. It's like crunchy zaku zaku, they call it. It's like crunchy flakes. Either you have it with custard in the middle or you have it on top of ice cream. The director and I have had a lot of treats here before. And here is a lot of makeup, and they've got a lot of makeup brands. Let's keep going. Banana Kamisama, the god of bananas. Okay, interesting store name. Yosuke has really good shoes here. They're like high quality, so they're a little bit more pricey than like cheap, cheap shoes, but they last for ages and they're very good. Harajuku fashion accessory. If you ever want to have plateau shoes, this is the place. You can see some funky balloons over there. I think a new store opened. And next to it is less in flavor. Mm. <laughs> if you come to Harajuku, there's one store I want you to support for being close to Takeshita, then it's over here, listen, flavor. They have items for guys and girls, and also a lot of things are like t-shirts and stuff based, so you can even wear that in your country. Definitely one of the brands that I want to continue, they've been trying so hard right now, especially during the pandemic, and they definitely deserve to keep existing here. This is one of the brands we need to support, guys. And like I said, it's a lot of t-shirt based things, so you can even wear it in your country. Okay, take a cross. right has a lot of like elementary middle school kids fashion brands yes that's this thing here in Japan so aiming at the very young target audience and then there's Wego there used to be like so many Wegos in this area but now we have like one big one here There's a couple ones around still, but that's probably the biggest one. Ooh, cute fashion stores. They have like really 
cute eyes here with like little characters on top. Chandato! Right, that's the end of Takeshita, the beginning. There is Urahara over here. So it's like the uh, back street Harajuku. A lot of foreigners miss this part. But actually, if you go straight down that area, there's so much more cool stuff to check out. Don't, don't forget about this area. So, we're staying here on the main street. So here on the right hand side, we have the Galaxy Store, which has like a lot of Galaxy stuff, like Galaxy phones, phone accessories. You can test out the different types that they have. It's kind of fancy. Followed by the H&M. Oops, but like, oh, <laughs> If you use another app instead of WhatsApp, there's the Line app store. It's over here. Line is used more than WhatsApp here in Japan. It's probably the, the main SNS that people use to write with their friends. They have their own characters and everything. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> also, it's one place that's like the mecca of all Harajuku. It's like one huge department store here on the right, and that's La Forêt. And in there, there's normal brands, Lolita fashion brands, and the Sailor Moon store Tokyo definitely one of the must stop areas. But we're gonna actually take a shortcut into Urahara. Or we're not? Okay, apparently we're not. <laughs> There's another Galaxy commercial on it as well. They're really pushing the smartphone that has also Google attached with it. Okay. still lining up to get into it and they opened like half an hour over half an hour ago wow All right, we're gonna turn left now. So this street here is a Motosando, but we're gonna turn into the side street. Urahara rules. <laughs> it actually says Urahara rules on the poster up here. This is the Urahara area, so the, the back of Harajuku. 
This is the area I mentioned earlier you should really not miss when you come here. Because a lot of tourists do. Because they don't know. This line here for eggs and things will probably always be here. There's always people lining up for this place. This store is kind of known for its outrageous design and it's kind of a little bit naughty in the style and fashion that they're doing. <laughs> So we have two stores here. <laughs> this one here. A lot of influencers come here and take pictures with that background. A lot, pretty much everyone. And then on the left hand side we have Doki Doki. 6% Doki Doki is one of the known and famous Harajuku brands. Sebastian Masuda is a designer. Uh, inside it also looks like a whole candy, candy land definitely worth checking out. If you love Harajuku fashion, must stop. Ta-da! So over here on the right, we have the Roll Ice Cream Factory. Um, that was a huge trend, like about three years ago, I think. But they're still here, which means they're still popular. You can kind of make your own ice cream. <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but someone left their shoes and their bunny out in the rain. What happened to your little bunny in the shoe? And this one here is Chun Sui Tan. It's actually from Taiwan. And they have really, really nice noodle dishes and obviously tapioca milk teas. The director and I here used to come almost every lunch here for years. For years. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. For rent? Can I make this my castle? You guys can't see that I'm smiling underneath this mask. I think that's a dead end, director. Bio Oji Yang Cafe. Not Oji Chang. There's a new cafe here.
Mm. Here we have milk teas. That's another hairdresser's. Oh, the ice cream place that was here has moved out. Stronger. This is also one of the famous side streets here. There's a lot of secondhand stores here too. Oh, oh dear. There's another one of those zoo cafes here. They must, must have moved here now. I didn't know that was the name, but this cafe is actually really nice because they're open so you can kind of have like a semi-open cafe feel. Flamingo! Flamingo? Another famous Harajuku brand. Candy stripper. Oh, they have a sample sale on right now. Mm. and the wind is getting stronger. Eep. <laughs> That's what I thought. We know our route. So we're back to Omotesando. Remember the street where we turned.
You can see it all up and down on Motosanda from here. famous street of Harajuku. Cat Street is kind of fancy. And there used to be actually water underneath. They put it all underneath now, but it used to be open. So a lot of brands all the way down the street. A lot. It's getting a bit brighter. Now Cat Street continues here, but we're actually going this direction now. Number Sugar. Chocolat, which is not a hotel. <laughs> you might be wondering why we're in such a big side street. Ooh. Yes. Someone's rich to live here and have a sports car. Oh, 
I think we're almost at our goal for today. Yep, I think so. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Remember, I got my hair done here. That's where we did all the Japanese hairdresser videos. So now you know how to get to my hairdressers, but in case you haven't seen the videos yet, be sure to check out. We will link them down below so you can check them out. And that's where I got my hair all redone. <laughs> right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little walk around Harajuku together with me. I had a lot of fun showing you Harajuku. And then hopefully, hopefully, in the future, you guys will be able to come too. Thank you so much for checking out our video. We do a lot of other cool stuff, so be sure to <laughs> check out. Oh, Mika! Mika! あ、<笑><笑><笑> ロシアの方が来て、フィリピンの方が来て。そうなの?そうそうそう。あの、YouTube効果ありがとうございます。嬉しい。増えてありがとうございます。嬉しい。いや、本当ありがとう。助かりました。っていうか、あの、英語もさ